Alright, so now we're actually going to be opening up this new computer to install these parts. These, this computer conveniently comes with the easy open screws. Okay, it's not pulling off. And there you can see inside the computer. What we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be, as you can see we already have the Diablo Tech power supply in here, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the motherboard, RAM, and CPU, and uh, CD drive with new ones because the hard drive is still usable, but the other parts on this computer are not. Alright guys, now we're going to be starting with actually removing parts of the computer. We're going to start with the power supply and the IDE cables because these are always the most annoying parts of the computer that get in the way of everything. So as you can see, we've already got the Diablo Tech power supply in here that we showed you earlier because that was one of the first things I bought to make sure power supply wasn't what was wrong with the computer. Oh. Now usually you're supposed to unplug everything before you unscrew it, but I just have to unscrew it everything everything before you unplug it. Now, very important thing is keep your hand on the case. The case is metal, it will keep you grounded. It's always better though to touch something like a table leg or some or something else that's also metal. Come on, I eat. You can see why the power supply is very cumbersome. It's got all these cables. Modular power supplies, you can disconnect cables depending on whether or not you need them. And you see, the power supply then easily slides out of the case. Pulling it off the side here. Um, next, the IDE cables. You may or may not be able to see that this case supports SATA over here, but Never got a SATA hard drive. Thing came with an IDE. We used IDE. That's a strong screw. Um, next, I'm going to be removing the hard drive enclosure here. Despite the fact that this doesn't need to be removed, I'm going to fully remove everything from this computer to give you a full demonstration of putting it all back in. Normally, the hard drive unscrews from here, but I'll just leave it in there for ease right now. Next, I'm going to be taking off the CPU fan. This is one of the most annoying things in the computer to get off. Always, 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 because of the different ways it comes off, you always have to push uh, several different ways and jimmy it a couple times in order to actually get these metal brackets off. After that, it should come off fair easy. We'll set that down over here with the thermal paste up. Um, next I'm going to be just taking out the processor. Be very, very careful with this component. It is one of the most fragile in your computer with all these little pins on it. Matter of fact, that light and heat's probably screwing with it. Uh, for me that, again, um, Next, I'm just going to be removing these peripheral cards we have over here. We have a FireWire card and a 56K dial-up modem that are never used. Well, the FireWire card is, but the 56K is never. FireWire card. Fifty six K modem. This will not be going back in the computer again. It's useless, especially since like no one uses dial up nowadays. If you're watching this video on dial up on YouTube, get a better internet. Next we're gonna be taking out the C D drive, because as you know I got a new C D drive. Motherboard only has one IDE port, and I need that for the hard drive. So that new SATA C D D V D drive. Normally it's easier to take it out through the front of the case than it is to take it out through the back. Likewise, it's easier to put it in. 
the front of your DVD drive will vary depending on your computer. Um, put that over here for now. Next, you got to unplug all these random little cables from in your motherboard. These right over here, could you get a shot? Those are what uh, plugs from the power button into your computer. Power button and uh, status indicator stuff. They're always really a pain to plug back in again. This was from the case fan into the motherboard. Over here is the AC96 audio. Or is that HD? It's the audio. Front audio. Whether or not it's AC96 or HD is irrelevant for right now. And um, this is for the peripheral panel, which I'm not quite sure. Is that a USB? Yes, that's just a standard USB. That'll be easy to get back in again. Lastly, I'm going to remove the RAM. Easy to remove. DDR1 sticks. Those things are still usable. I hope. And lastly, the actual motherboard needs to come out. Uh, the motherboard has numerous screws in numerous locations. Make sure to keep all your screws organized. It's going to be important when you're putting things back in to know where all your screws are for them. Some screws it doesn't matter, other screws like motherboard screws it does. How many other screws are on this thing? The screws don't necessarily have to come out or go in in any certain order as long as you get them in or out. And this should hopefully be the last screw. You're kidding, there's something attached there? Okay. This is screw somewhere. No. Okay, let's jimmy this out of here. They really did not design this thing to be upgraded very well, did they? That's on. I'm going to be, of course, putting the new one in better than I took this one out. And there is your motherboard.